Each the size of the port of Dover, the Mulberry harbours were assembled off the Normandy coast after the D-Day landing of troops. These floating harbours allowed ships to bring food, water, ammunition and medical supplies to those troops. There were two such harbours, A and B. A for the American landing at Omaha Beach was destroyed in storms, while B for the British and Canadian landing at Gold Beach was damaged but was repaired using parts from Harbour A. The British harbour also became known as Port Winston. The supply ships would approach the so-called Spud Pierhead, which formed a wharf. Lorries carrying food, medical supplies and ammunition would then drive off the wharf onto the floating piers and head to the shore. These floating piers consisted of 80-foot-long road sections called whales, which were supported by the concrete pontoons called beetles. The beetles were built by the Norbury house building firm Waits Limited at workshops in Mitcham and Balham and sent to Southampton to be assembled. You can get an idea of the size of a beetle in this photo from the Imperial War Museum. Here, the beetle is in place with one of the whales on top of it. The beetles could handle the weight of up to 56 tonnes and floated at high tide, while at low tide rested on the seafloor. The story of the South London men who worked for weights on the beetles is told in the next video.